Imagine you're walking down a corridor, unbeknownst to you that a pool of water has been spilt on your path ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Well, you guessed it. There's a good chance that you could slip and you could hurt yourself. But what if there was a wet floor sign? Surely you'd see the sign, which in turn would significantly reduce the chance of slipping and falling. Well, this is all about hazard and risk. The hazard is the event that has the potential to cause injury. And the risk is how likely that event is likely to happen. But this is geography. And geographers study natural hazards. These are natural events that have the potential to cause damage and destruction to people and property. The risk is how likely those natural events are going to happen and affect people and their property, and that will eventually become a natural disaster. So natural hazards come in many forms, but many of them share characteristics that allow us to categorize them. We can group them into tectonic hazards, these are hazards that may occur due to movements in the Earth's crust. There are examples of tectonic hazards, including volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. Some hazards happen within the Earth's atmosphere. Atmospheric hazards, also known as weather hazards, include thunderstorms, tropical storms, heavy rain, and droughts. These are all powerful enough to cause devastating impacts. Finally, there are hazards that occur on the surface of the Earth. These are known as geomorphic hazards. Mountainous areas are at risk of landslides and avalanches where there is snow and ice present, whilst coastal locations and floodplains are at risk of flooding where there is lots of water present. Now that we know that there are many hazards that can devastate across the world, we need to know that some of the Earth's inhabitants ought to be more cautious than others which takes us to hazard risk.